You're saying you want me to leave town? Earl, if I can't have you here with me, I want to at least know you're safe. You know, friend, part of me is saying, hey, this is my house. I ought to stay and fight. But that's probably the part of me that's going to get eaten first. Earl, I can't tell you what to do. Ultimately, you have to choose what you think is right. No, you choose. But pick the one where I don't hear anything snap. Well, Earl, maybe you can win. Maybe a guy your size could beat a rampaging 50-foot Dilophosaurus. Hand me my jammies, friend. Oh, friend, tell me the truth. Do you like this Gary fella? Earl, I love you. You're the one I want to spend my life with, you big lizard. I'm going to miss you, friend. I really am. But I want you to be brave and try to make a life with Gary. Oh, Earl. Or you could slowly poison him over the next few years. Your choice. Robbie? Hey, Dad. As you know, I've been challenged. For reasons too complicated to explain, I've chosen not to fight. But, Dad, if you go, who's going to play catch with me? Who's going to take me fishing? I don't know. Who does that now? Nobody. But I, I was hoping we could start. Oh, gee, son, I would have liked that. <laughs> oh, I'm Junior. <laughs> Junior, when you're all grown up, and I'm just a photo in a frame... Will you even remember the special bond we had? Move over! <laughs> oh, oh, the TV! <laughs> That's Daddy's little boy. <laughs> wow, who would have thought I'd miss my kids this much? Oh, oh, and I have another one. Ah, uh, there's my baby girl, still blissfully ignorant of her father's terrible fate. Charlene! There's something very important that I have to tell you in these, our last precious moments. Well, can it wait? Because I have to ask you a favor. Oh, anything, my princess. Well, I've got some friends coming over this afternoon, and I was just wondering, while they're here, maybe you could not be. No. Oh, my little girl's embarrassed by her father. I remember when I was embarrassed by my father. And now the torch has been passed. My baby's grown up. She's ashamed of me. So then, you leave? These are the moments a father lives for. Uh, I built this family. I raised you kids. Well, I didn't actually raise you, but I watched with interest. I have earned this. This is mine. I am never going to leave. Okay. We'll move the meeting to Mindy's house. Friend, Robbie, come in here. Bye. Hey. What? I am not going to miss out on this or any of your other insulting rites of passage. What's going on, Earl? I have decided to stay and fight. Daddy, you sure? You saw Gary's sock. Bring on his socks. Bring on his shorts. Bring on the whole hamper. Because Earl Sinclair is fighting for his family. And let no one underestimate the fury of a determined Megalosaurus who is not afraid to stand alone. Here's the way I see it. Yeah. If all of us stick together, then none of us has to get hurt. But uh, yeah. none of us are going to get hurt. Gary's only killing you. Yeah. My point is, we got to get organized. Because this could happen to any one of us. That's it right. Didn't. Yeah, and you're the only one married to Fran. Mm. Yeah. Uh -huh. Let's get lunch. Nice Guys, Guys. Run. Bye. Our buddy Earl is in trouble here. He needs our help. So who's going to be there Friday? Friday. I got a Yahtzee yeah. tournament. I'm going to get my teeth filled. Yeah, see you later. Next time for sure, huh? Boy. Every one of them's got plans. Who'd have guessed it? How about you, Roy? Hey, you're my pal, Pally boy. I'd never desert you in your hour of need. Look at here. I got you a book. Oh. So you've been challenged. How to get ready for a fight to the death. We're gonna get you into such good shape. Old Gary there's gonna have to think twice before he kills the next guy.
it my final day of life. The last time I gaze on my alarm clock. Goodbye, my trusty timekeeper. And you, lamp. You brought light where once there was darkness. Mm. Off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on. We always understood each other. Oh, and you, my lint brush. So much remains unsaid. Mm. Earl? Oh, hi, friend. I made Clydesdale pancakes. Hurry on down. Thank you. Oh, God, 12 hours left. I gotta experience every moment to the fullest. I gotta squeeze the life out of every second I got left. What should I wear? Nah, nah. Goodness, the whole day's gone. Uh, uh, all right, I'll just go with the plaid. Uh, goodbye, other shirt. Gary? Daddy? Daddy? Gary! No, 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 huh? no. Give me. Oh. Nice. <sighs> Is your father coming? No, he's still saying goodbye to his shoe tree. Well, I want you to know I'm never going to call this new guy dad. Even if he wins me over with gifts and cash and a phone in my room. Goodbye, Bannister. Goodbye, staircase. I don't want to sing any one of you out. Hello, Earl. And finally, my beloved family. How do I say goodbye to you? Wait a minute, Dad. You don't have to take down this guy alone. We can fight him together. Boom, pow. You know, son, if you were about 40 feet taller, I'd take you up on that. Now, you kids, close your eyes, or one day you're going to require a lot of therapy. No. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Pardon me, is this the Sinclair house? Oh, let's see. Pressure point, pressure point! you to your new family. <gasps> this is your son, Robbie. <laughs> How's it going? This is your daughter, Charlene. Hello. Your new baby. Where's the rest of him? And I believe you know, Fran. Hi, Fran. Gosh, you look gorgeous. I can't wait to bite your husband's head off. Gary, I want you to know something right away. I love Earl. He's the only male I've ever loved. And no matter what happens here today, he's the only male I ever will love. He looks kind of short and dumpy from up here. Hey, watch Oh, what? yeah? That's my daddy. Well, from down here, he looks just fine. Yeah, that's right. Which is a lot more than that's I can right. say about you. You insensitive, insecure, arrogant... Uh, honey, I was hoping to avoid a slow, lingering death if possible. Who do you think you are, anyway? I'm the guy who carried your groceries. Besides, I'm not even interested in you. So I want you to go away. Can I offer anybody a coffee? Gary! Fran, I just thought... You thought? You thought nothing! If you thought at all, you would have realized that this is my life, my home, my family, and you have no right to take it away. Yeah. yeah. Earl, you married this? Nineteen years. Nineteen years? You must be made of steel. She's had a hard day, what with being widowed and all. Listen, Fran, Earl, I just had a thought. Maybe I'm not ready to settle down. What? Huh? Oh, you're not? 
All right, all right, I was. But I was looking for something a little less horrible. Oh, come on. Hey, hey, that's our wife you're talking about. She's all yours, Earl. All right, then. Maybe you'd better just step off my porch. Yeah, yeah that's and right. put those pine right. trees back where you found them. Easy, honey. I think we won. Well, yeah, nice meeting you all. It's certainly been a pleasure. Yeah, you got a beautiful family here, Earl. Mom. Good luck with them. Yeah, true. <laughs> we use what we have. Mom, Ma, listen, there's this big kid at school that's been bothering me. Yeah, maybe you could just come down and teach him a lesson. Hey, 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 a bit. Hey, yeah. hey, hold on there. I'm the father, and if anybody's going to go down to your school and beat up a kid, it's going to be me. Okay, thanks, Dad. Cool. Um, still the daddy, still the daddy, still the daddy. <laughs> oh, Earl, you were so brave. Yeah. What moment exactly? You were willing to open that door and face him. Yeah, I did do that, didn't I? I opened it right up and I faced him. <laughs> At least a part of him you could see. Did you notice his ankle was trembling? No, I didn't, but I'd be happy to say so in front of the neighbors. No, thanks, Franny. You're worth fighting for. Oh. <laughs>